Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, I think it was coming in your exam also, right? Yeah, ma'am. Mm, okay, just one minute. Let me open that. Sure. Sorry, can you just tell me exercise number from NCRT? Just one minute. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. Okay, it's exercise 12.1, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, areas related to circle. So let us uh, revisit a little bit about circle, right? So you know, how does a circle look like? Everybody lo know that. So I'm not no going into like, uh, you know, radius and anyway, the theorems, etc., related to circle that will, we will cover in the chapter circles. But here we are only interested in area and perimeters. Okay. So in previous classes, uh, you must have heard about figures like square, rectangle, triangle, right? You have studied about their area, their perimeter. Can anybody tell me what is the meaning of perimeter? The total of the sides. Sorry, Martin, say again. Total of the sides. Total of sides, okay. Anybody else? Yes, Mana, what do you understand by perimeter? Abdullah, what do you understand by perimeter? What is the meaning of perimeter? Uh, perimeter means hmm. the length of uh, the, out, uh, the outer side of the shape. I mean, also. outer side, what, what outer side? Like what exactly you calculate? In the circumference of the circle. Yeah, that is fine. Circumference of the circle. Like what is, okay. Anyway, perimeter is basically the length of the boundary, right? This is the meaning of this term, boundary, right? Perimeter means length of boundary. So you must have studied about perimeter of rectangle. So this length is L, right? This length is also L. This is breadth and this is breadth. Yeah, who has entered in the class now? Arshia. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, anyway, I have just started the chapter area related to circle, chapter number 12. So I'm just discussing what is the meaning of perimeter, right? So perimeter is length of the boundary of any figure. So if I talk of rectangle, so this is length, this is length, and this is breadth, this is breadth. This is how it looks like. So now I calculate the length of its boundary, which I call perimeter, right? So it will be like this side, so L, right? Plus this side, one B. Then plus this side, one L. And plus this side, so one B. So it becomes two L plus two B, right? Which becomes two into L plus B, which you like remember as a formula, two L plus B. So this is length of boundary, understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now in terms of circle, so as you can see, like this is the boundary of the circle, right? So this, uh, in terms of circle, we don't call it perimeter. I mean, we have a special name for it. We call it circumference. It means the same thing, understand? 
circumference means ah. perimeter of the circle right so in the first exercise you need to know about the two formulas only like what is the circumference of a circle circumference or perimeter so in book uh, we call it circumference like this term is used so this is equal to 2 pi into r where you know r is radius right so this is the formula for circumference of a circle and then area of circle the formula is pi into r square right so these two formula you have to remember for exercise number 1 right value of pi is uh, 22 by 7 as we all know yes. okay and in the first chapter we have done this division right 22 divided by 7 so it came out to be 3.14 and something something i mean it will never end right so we know that pi is irrational understand we know this it's an irrational yes. number it's non-terminating so it will keep on uh, uh, coming here uh, but for the calculation purpose, we approximately take it 3.14, right? So rest of the terms we just neglect. We take it 3.14, but this is the 3.14. It is the approximate value only, not the exact value of pi. So if it is not given in the question, you will always use 22 by 7. Understand? Yeah. Okay. So let us start with the exercise. Uh, one minute yeah here yeah 12.1 yeah so question number one is here Sorry, there's some issue with the screen. It is just scrolling down. One minute, sorry, sound. Yeah, now can you see that? Okay, exercise 12.1. So it is written, unless stated, use pi 22 by seven right so the radii of two circles are 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter respectively okay find the radius of the circle which has circumference equal to sum of the circumferences of two circle anyway basically there are two circles right you can call it like small circle and uh, there is a larger circle understand okay yeah. so two circles so one has radius 19 centimeter so i call it r2 which is 19 centimeter and the small is 9 centimeters so let us call it r1 which is 9 centimeter okay find the radius of the circle which has circumference equal to sum of the circumferences of two circle so basically you have to calculate the circumference of this circle right which i call c1 then you will calculate the circumference of this circle, which I call C2, correct? Then you will do, yeah, then you will do C1 plus C2 here, right? Okay, so you will get the total circumference. Now you have to find the radius of a circle whose circumference is equal to this C1 plus C2, understand? So understood the question? Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. Let us find out C1. So C1 is 2 pi R1, right? Correct? So put the values here. So 2 into 22 by 7 into R1 is 9 centimeter. Okay. Mm. Okay, just leave it like this, right? right? Don't do calculations here. Then calculate C2, which is 2 pi R2, correct? So this is 2 into 22 by 7 into R2 is 19 centimeter. All right. Okay. So let us find out C1 plus C2. So C1 plus C2 is 
So two into twenty two by seven into nine centimeter, right? And plus two into twenty two by seven into nineteen centimeter. Right? So I can take two into twenty two by seven common, right? And then here I get nine centimeter plus nineteen centimeter. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this will become two into twenty two by seven, and then multiply nineteen plus nine is how much? Uh, nine into nine twenty eight. Twenty eight centimeter. Okay. So this is divisible by seven, right? Seven into one, seven into four. So now multiply. So you get. Uh, two into four eight and eight into two sixteen carry one one seventy six centimeter. All right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right now, according to question. So if you read the question again, find the radius of a circle which has circumference equal to Sum of the circumferences of two circle, right? So we can say like let capital C be the circumference of new circle. Understand? Okay. So this new circumference is actually equal to C one plus C two. Got it? Okay. Who's uh? Radius is, let us take it capital R. Understand? So there is a new circle whose circumference is uh, capital C and radius is capital R. So according to question, this circumference is equal to C one plus C two, right? So two pi into capital R is equal to C one plus C two. We have just calculated. So one seventy six centimeter. So just find the value of R here. So capital R will be one seventy six divided by two pi. Got it? Centimeter. Okay. So this is one seventy six divided by two, and pi means twenty two into seven. Right? Centimeter. Now just simplify it. Hmm. So I think it is divisible by eleven, as I can see. Eleven into two. And then eleven into one, and then sixty-six. So eleven into six, right? And then two into one, two into eight, and seven into eight is fifty-six centimeter. So that is the. Uh, no, so uh, yeah, what I got here? Eight, right? Oh, there's one two again here. Wait, wait. Fifty-six by two, it is right. There is another two. Sorry, I just forgot this. So two into one and two into four, and then four into seven is twenty-eight. So it is twenty-eight centimeter. Yeah, just let me know when you have written. Okay. Yes, Arshia, written. No, ma'am. One second. Manha. Yeah, done, ma'am. Complete it now. Okay. Right. Question number two now, Abdullah. I'm sorry. So here is the question number two, as you can see.
the radii of two circles are eight centimeter and six centimeter respectively. Okay, find the radius of the circle having area equal to sum of the area of two circle. Right. So basically, first of all, you have to find the sum of the area of these two circle. Understand? Yeah. Okay. So again. Hmm, Area, let us find out area of first circle, right? Area of first circle. Or you first of all, mention, you can mention, like do it like this. Make a line, right? Write first circle and second circle like that. Okay, so the first circle whose radius is R1. So R1 is eight centimeter and R2 is six centimeter. So let us find the area. So I'm calling it uh, area is equal to pi R square. So pi into R1 square, right? And this area will be pi into R2 square, correct? Okay, so this is pi into R1 means, so leave, leave the answer in pi. We will put the value of pi in the end. So do it like this always. So in the first question, I put it there, but you can leave the answer in terms of pi. And in the last step, you can put the value of pi. Understood? Okay. So R1 is 8. So 8 is square, correct? So this is pi into 8 into 8 is 64. So this is 64 pi. Now this one is pi into 6 square, so this is 36 pi, right? Okay. Now, according to question, the radii of two circle are this, this, okay? Find the radius of the circle having area equal to sum of the area. So, let the new circle, okay, let A, or you can say let R be the radius of the new circle. Understand? So according to question, ATQ means according to question. Pi into R square, that means the area of this new circle is equal to sum of the area of the uh, previous circles, right? Understand? Or in fact, uh, here also, like uh, you yes. can write in a sentence and then in the next step, you can write pi r square. So area of new circle is equal to sum of the area of first and second circle. This is a, a according to question. So that means pi into r square is equal to pi into r1 square plus pi into r2 square. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Or you can directly write 64 pi plus 36 pi. There's no problem because we have already we calculated. The price. Yeah, that you can also do. So directly write 64 pi plus 36 pi. As you wish, you can write. Like you can write pi r1 square and then you can write. It's your wish. Now take pi common from both the side. So you get 64 plus 36, right? So this pi actually cancels out. Correct. So you don't have to put its value. So R square is now this is zero and 900. Correct. So your radius is square root of 100. So basically you get plus minus 10. When you take square root, you always get two values plus and minus 10. Hmm. See, I'm forgetting one thing here. Now see here, this is eight centimeters. So when you put eight square, it becomes centimeter square. Correct. So basically you get answer in centimeter square here. Understand? Units are important. So please write them, make a habit of writing. So this is actually centimeter square. This is also centimeter square, right? So centimeter square common, okay. I will neglect minus because it's- Yeah, 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 I'm just coming to that. 
so centimeter square and when you take square roots only one centimeter will come right so now minus 10 we cannot take because it's length right length cannot be negative understand yeah okay so yeah. r is equal to 10 centimeter that is the answer So this is the radius of the new circle. Yeah, should I scroll up? Please let me know. I'll scroll up if you wish. Done. Done. Okay. So let's move to second next question now. Okay, now read it. So figure 12.3 depicts an archery target marked with its five scoring region from the center outward as gold, red, blue. So as you can see, uh, you shoot this type of, um, uh, these circles are made, right? It's a target where you throw arrows. Anyway, the diameter of the region representing gold score is 21 centimeter. So this diameter is given, right? This one, gold, okay, which is 21. And each of the other band is 10.5 centimeter wide. Uh, so which, uh, what is given? Basically, this, this length is given, right? So every band is actually 10.5 centimeter wide, understand? find the area of the five scoring regions so you have to find the area of the white region black region blue region red region and gold region understand yes ma so gold we can directly find because its diameter is given understand yeah Okay, so how we will write it? Diameter is given basically, diameter of gold region. So which is given in the question is it's 21 centimeter. Right, so radius of gold region, how much? 21 by two. Yes. That is the radius, right? So area of cold region. Uh, area of gold region is uh, pi into uh, r square, right? I'm directly putting the value. So 21 by two, or better write the formula first of all because there are marks for formula so into radius of gold you can write gold in short right so this is the radius of the gold region now put it so pi into this is 21 by 2 whole square and centimeter because centimeter square so it will become centimeter square here understand uh, so better find the value here 
So if I put it 22 by 7, then into 21 by 2, into 21 by 2 centimeter square, right? So it becomes like 7 into 1, 7 into 3, and then 2 into 1, 2 into 11. Uh, is there anything else I can do? No. So this is 33 into 21 divided by 2 centimeter square. So can you just multiply it? So 33 into 21. So 693 and divided by 2. So I'll get 3 into 4, 8, 13 means to 6, 12, 346.5 centimeter square I'm getting as the area of the gold region, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, so gold we have found. Now I want to find the area of the red region, right? Okay, so how much is the radius of the red region? Can anybody tell me? Uh, 5.5. See, you know the radius of the gold region, understand? Yeah. Right? And the width of each band is given in the question. Uh, it is 10.5. That means this width, like this width, right? This is 10.5 10 centimeters. No, 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 no. Try to understand. Radius, whenever we find the radius, it is always calculated from the center of the circle, right? Yeah. So this is the radius of the gold region, right? Then you have your red region here. So radius will be from here to here. Understand? Oh, okay. So that means this is the radius of gold, right? So in the radius of gold, if you add the width of the red band, so this will become the radius of the red region. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes. I hope everybody understand this. So now radius of red region will be equal to uh, radius of gold region and plus width of band. Is that clear? Because radius will be calculated from the center of the circle. Okay. Now radius of gold region uh it was 22 by 21 by 2 so you can find this in decimals if you wish so 2 into 1 and then 11 2 into 5 5 no oh. yeah how much you get here sorry 0 and then 2 into 1 is 2 right then 2 into 0 and then you get 10. So this is 10.5 centimeter. Understand? Yes, sir. So radius of gold is 10.5 centimeter plus. Now width of band is also 10.5 centimeter. So that becomes 550 and 10, 10, 20. So 21 centimeter. Correct? Fine, Subana? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now you have got the radius of red region. So you can find the area of red region. So area of red region is pi into R square. So R red, you will write small red here. So pi is again 22 by seven into radius. You have got 21. So 21 centimeters. The radius of gold region is 21 by two. So that I have converted in decimal, right? 10.5. Okay. Because I have a decimal value here. So that is why it's better to convert in decimal. Okay. Into, again, 21 centimeter, right? So if you do this calculation. Uh, how do we ignore the width of the band? Sorry, Martin? Width of the band is given in the question. See, and each of the other band is 10.5 centimeter wide. Can you see that? Okay. Yes. 
So seven into one and seven into three. So now you please multiply. So this is 66 into 21. So I'm getting 1386 uh, centimeters square as the area of the red region. No, 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 one minute. Um, uh, this will not be area of red, right? This will be area of red plus gold region, isn't it? See, now try to understand. This is your gold, right? This is your gold, right? And this is your red. Everybody see that here? Please pay attention, everybody. So I'm taking this radius. So I'm starting from here, right? And so I've taken radius of gold plus the width. So that means this much radius I'm taking. So when I'm finding the area, so basically I'll get the full area, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So this is the area of basically so red. Subtract this from the gold region. Exactly. So this is the area of red plus gold. All right. And the region uh, and the area of gold we have already found. So this much is the area of the gold. Understand? So if I subtract the gold area, so then only I'll get the red area. Is that clear? Yeah. So I will be left with only this white area, which I want to find. So this is the area of the red region. Is that clear? So now area of only red will become area of red plus gold right and minus area of gold is this understood harshia mana yes subana yes ma'am abdullah yeah ma'am okay martin yeah so area yeah. of red plus gold is 1386 centimeter square right and minus area of gold how much was it we have just found uh, what was the area of the gold? One, three, four, six, point three, four, six point five. Okay. So three, four, six point five centimeters square. So now you can do the division. So do it carefully here like this. Otherwise you'll make mistake. So three, four, six point five. So put a zero here. Now subtract. So 10 minus five is five. Now 15 minus six is uh, nine. Then you have seven minus four is three. So 39.5 I'm getting. No, sorry, here one will also remain. So three minus three zero and then one. So it is 1039.5 centimeters square is the area of the red region. Clear? Yeah. So this is a lengthy question. Understand? Yeah. Okay. So please everybody write, at least still here. Written? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, now I want the radius of the blue, correct? I want to find the area of the blue region now. So let us find out first of all the area, uh, sorry, radius. Mm, there's one more correction. This was also like, it was not only red, please call it red plus gold. This was the complete radius we were taking. Understand? Red plus gold. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Right. So I want now radius of blue region. Let us call it only blue. So radius of blue. 
so now radius of blue will be radius of red right like red plus gold understand and then plus width of band is that clear yes sir. right so what was the radius of this red plus gold 21. region 21 don't tell me wrong values okay otherwise i'll make mistake so this was 21 centimeter and then plus width of the band is 10.5 centimeter so now you add it so you get 0. 0.5 and then 1 and 3 31.5 centimeter clear okay so now from this radius so which area i'll got i'll get so area of so i i will get area of gold plus red plus blue isn't it see i'm starting from this center now see here carefully i'm starting from the center right and from here this much radius i'm taking so when i calculate the area from this region so basically i'll get the area of the blue region plus the area of the red region plus the area of the gold region is that clear because the radius is always taken from the center of the circle is that correct yeah so it will cover this full area like this much area it will cover okay so this is equal to hmm area of gold plus red plus blue okay so this radius basically i have to use now so pi into r square which is pi into 31.5 centimeter whole square is that clear so let us do the calculations here so this is 22 by 7 into 31.5 into 31.5 and centimeter square right so 22 by 7 into so remove the decimal so it will be 315 by 10 into 315 by 10 centimeter square uh, so is it divisible by 7 7 into yeah so 7 into 1 right 7 into 4 is 28 then 35, 7 into 5 is 35. So it will become 45. So don't disturb the 10 in the denominator. Just multiply the numerator. Please multiply and tell me how much you get here. So 22 multiplied by 45 into 315. Please everybody multiply this. Thirty-one thousand eighteen hundred fifty. So tell me numbers like three one one, one hmm. eight hmm. five zero eight five zero. Okay. Is everybody getting it? Okay. I assume that this is correct. And then I have 100 in the denominator, right? So one zero cancels out. And then one decimal will come here. So 3118.5 centimeter square. All right? Yeah. Okay. Now I want to find the area of blue only, right? Now, please understand everybody here. So area of blue is area of. So now I have blue plus red plus gold. This much we have calculated here, right? Now minus area of red plus gold. Is this understood? Yeah. 
right so from blue plus red plus gold if i subtract the area of red plus gold so i'm left with only blue so this area is 3118.5 cm square minus what was this area can you tell me we have already found it yes how much was this area of red plus gold 103 1386 1, 1, 3, 6, right okay now just do the subtraction please tell me how much you get here Ma'am, it's 310464. 310? Three, zero. Zero. No, no, Subhana, 3 will not come because from 3000, like already 1000, you are subtracting something around 1000, right? So 3 will not come. Is it 2372.5? How much? 2372.5. Is everybody getting it? Mana? Yes, ma'am. Is this the answer? Yeah. Sure. Should I do the calculations? Arshia, what is your answer? Okay, let us do it. So, 3118.5, right? Because I'm getting different answers, so that is why I have to do. 1386, right? 0.0, .0 you can write here. Okay. I'm getting 173. Oh, yeah. It's 17. Yeah. So, three, yeah. so, three people, three different answers I'm getting. Right? Okay. 8 minus 6 is 2. Then 11 minus 8 is uh, 3. And then 10 minus 3 is 7. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So, this is I'm getting 1732.5 yes, centimeters square. See, one little mistake. The whole question will get wrong. Getting it? Because, yeah. because you are using it in the in every step. Okay. So in this chapter, you have to be basically it will like improve your calculations. You have to do it very carefully. So at least area of blue we have got so far. Such a lengthy question, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, let us proceed further. Now I want to find the area of the black, correct? So how will I do it now? Radius of black, first of all. Right? So radius of black will be radius of blue and plus width of band, correct? Okay. How much was the radius of blue? We have just found. Mm, yeah. 31.5 centimeter. Right? Okay. And width of band is 10.5 centimeter. Now add it. So 5, 5, 10. Carry 1. And 1, 1, 2. Sorry, 42.0 centimeter. I'm getting 42 centimeter, right? Okay. Yeah. Now I want area of uh, black. So let us found area of. So it will be gold plus red plus blue and plus black right like with this radius i'll get this area gold plus red plus blue plus black is that clear which is pi r square because this radius 42 is like from here to here right up till black 
okay so 22 by 7 into now radius is 42 so 42 cm into 42 cm and 7 into 6 is 42 right 7 into 1 7 into 6 now please multiply and tell me how much is this area Nine twenty-four. Nine twenty-four. No, I think you should get a larger number. Please check. It's twenty-two multiplied by six multiplied by forty-two, right? Yeah, ma'am. One minute. Ma'am, it's fifty-five forty-four. Fifty-five forty-four. Okay, is everybody getting it? Fifty-five forty. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah. At least two people are getting it. Okay. So now I want to find area of black only. So area of black will be equal to area of this gold plus red plus blue plus black, right? And minus. Area of gold plus red plus blue is that understood? So you will get only black area, correct? Okay. So this area we have got five five four four centimeter square minus. How much was this area? Gold plus red plus blue. One seven three two point five. No, I think. How much we can? Ma'am, can you scroll up one second? Three one one eight point five eight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Where? A, no, a bit down. Yes. Yeah. One second. I didn't try this. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Done. Hmm. Okay, so this area we have just found, right? Three one one. How much was that? Three one one eight point five. Please check. Yes, this gold plus red plus blue we have just found. Now please subtract it and tell me the answer. Is two four two five point five. Two four two five point five. Yeah, I think it's correct. Yeah, everybody getting it? Yeah, ma'am. Okay, now please proceed with the radius of white. Now, my screen is a little bit hanged. So, in the same manner, please find the radius of white now. So it will be radius of black plus width of band. Please calculate. So far, I uh, done. I have got the area of black. So now, radius of white. Abdullah, are you there? I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. Right. 
right? Okay, please try to understand one thing here. Like in every step, when I write radius of black, so that means not only this much, okay? Basically, radius means I'm taking from here to here. Is this understood by everyone? So I'm writing only black, but it means that I'm taking the radius from the center, like from here to here I'm taking. Is that clear? Otherwise I have to write like radius of black plus blue plus red plus gold and you will get confused. So that is why I'm only writing black. Is that understood? Okay. I mean, you know that radius is uh, calculated from the center of the circle. So that means this full length I'm taking. And then I'm adding the width. So now it becomes the radius of the white region. Is that clear? Okay. So radius of black, I've just found. How much was that? 42, I think, yeah, the last step. Okay. Plus width of band is 10.5 centimeter. So that becomes like 0.5 and then 2 and 52.5 centimeter is the radius of white. Now find area. So area of. So now you will get area of gold plus red plus blue plus black plus white. Is that understood? I mean, with this radius, because you are taking this complete length from here to here, so this whole area will be covered. Is that understood? Okay. So this is again pi into r square. Now put the values here. So pi is 22 by 7, and radius is this 52.5 centimeter into 52.5 centimeter. So 22 by 7, you can remove the decimal if you wish. So 525 divided by 10 into 525 divided by 10 and centimeter square. Right. Now, is it divisible by 7? So 7 into 7 into 7 is 49 and then 35. Yeah, it is divisible by 7. See, 7 into 7 is 49, right? And then 3 will remain. So 35 and 7 into 5 is 35. Clear? Okay, then 110 you can disturb if you wish. So 5 into 1 is 5 and then 25. 5 into 5 and this is 5 into 2, right? Now this is 2 into 1 and 2 into 11. So now you got this 11 into 15 into 5, 25, and then divided by 10 and centimeter square. Now, please multiply the numerator. Arshia, now please tell me what you are getting here. Okay, she's not in the class. Abdullah, please unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please tell me what you are getting after multiplying the numerator. Please quick all of you. Mom, I got eight six six two five. 
Yeah, ma'am, it's correct. Eight six six two five. Okay, and then one ten you have in the denominator, right? Yeah. So it becomes eight six six two point five centimeters square. Okay. Now you have to find the area of white. Abdullah, please work out the calculations on your own. Area of white will be equal to area of right. So it is gold plus red plus what was that after red? Blue, right? Then you have black and then white. Okay. And minus then area of this. Gold plus red plus blue plus black. Is that clear? Okay, so this is area of this. We have found 866. 2.5 centimeters square and minus. What was this area? We have found 5544, I think. Yeah. In the previous step, we have found. Now, please complete it. And we are done with question number two. Oh, it was such a lengthy question. Okay, now your homework is everybody will repeat this question number two on your own, right? Please uh, repeat it uh -huh. once. Yeah. Then we will continue with question number three in the next class. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, then. It bye. E118.5. Thank you. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you.